platform on Battlefield, and the Fox clearly, well, he clearly wasn't ready for it with uh, the DI that he had. I mean, it's just the kind of thing that you can't really play around, I want to say. You gotta just trust that, you know, both of you at that level that it's that it's not gonna happen and, you know, a Fox has a lot more things to worry about than trying to react to getting hit by his teammate, or really any situation, any character even. You, you, you have enough stuff to think about playing teams against two other people that, you know, there's enough stuff, other stuff to think about that you don't want to add that, add to that, that uh, you got to watch out for your teammate hitting you as well. That's a, uh, you know, it's a shame. And hopefully, uh, whichever team wins this can have a, a good grand final set, maybe reset the bracket, get some good more, a uh, few more good games in to this uh, this team's tournament. Oh. No. Early kill or early death from Voorhees easily avoidable. That's the the problem with switching characters sometimes. Is you you know you miss up those those little situations. I'm gonna update the bracket really quick. Okay. Shalon just updated. We still don't have a player cam. Okay. Just... Oh, whoops, yeah, I didn't update these. You're right. Oh, is that what I keep doing? That makes sense then. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, never mind. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably hop into pools after this set. Maybe after your hands. Okay. Sorry about that. Where are we? Uh, close game. Green team has a lead. About a stock lead. Um, I think the, the character that gets hurt the worst on this stage is Pikachu. I think this is fairly good striking from green team. I'd have to really think about like the whole back and forth of how this team composition and stage striking would go, but I think I think green team has a slight advantage on this stage. Hmm. That up smash sends Fox right off the top. Up air, maybe another up air. Yeah, a thunder was a uh, would have been cool if it worked, but. Probably better options in the situation, especially with an invincible fox coming back, ready to punish pretty much anything you're gonna do. Oh, great reverse tail spike from Voorhees. And great game, but didn't go quite as he expected. That up air didn't get quite the hitbox he wanted to, but he used that up B to cover that really well. And got an, a very early percent. I believe it was, or no, that was sorry, the other one was a early percent. Got a great grip on Fox, regardless. Uh, Voorhees' Pikachu has just been getting better and better and better. And, uh, oh, great stuff from Reeve. That Gimp was great team's awareness right there. But despite all that, it is a tie game. And oh, I was very worried that uh, the Kira tag, which I think is Rick, was going to, uh, you know, going to be able to get on the edge before the Marth was going to get there. That would have. That would have made this a lot harder to come back from. Again, the Thunder uh, has a bit of a read. That, that covered some things, but left himself pretty wide open. But luckily for him, it didn't, it didn't cost him much. Now I've got the 2v1 with uh, Rick. This is Rick confirmed, uh, looking over there. Rick is uh, the Kira attack, the, uh, whatever, the, uh, the Light Fox. Great Ops attack and great awareness to shield from uh, Pikachu. Fortunately, Bobax it misses the uh, edge dash. And we're headed to game two. Game one goes to Rick and Voorhees. I'm oh, sorry, Reeve and Voorhees.
so going right back. I, uh... I'm finding it difficult to say this is a bad idea. Starting out pretty well for blue team or for a green team. Sometimes I think you get that anti-momentum where the other person has momentum and you know that they're feeling themselves, and so you can use that against them. A lot of people, at least at you know a semi-lower level, like welcome to the Midwest. Um, a lot of people, once they have, once they kind of feel themselves a little bit, they're going to approach more, and so you can use that against them if you're aware of it. And it looks to me like that's what happened for the first stocks here for uh, green team, but just like that, <laughs> a lot of jabs for Pikachu. That was a lot of damage, and it broke up the edge guard really well. Uh, I was talking to Voorhees a little bit earlier about just you know Pikachu's jabs and situations they can be used in, other than how you traditionally see it. That's one of them, just to occupy time and prevent certain movement options. Ooh, just like that, three stock advantage for a green team, if you're looking by the numbers. But really, this is only two hits away from being a one stock advantage. There's one of those hits. Yep, uh, when you see Fox doing the slow get up there on the edge, uh, Pikachu's jabs are a great option. That's, you know, the, the certain uh, non-invincible frames of everything are going to be hit out really easily by Pikachu's jabs. Oh, see there, once you, you saw that you had him. It's hard to react to, it's a very quick little, uh, you know, action. Otherwise, this should be no here. All right, getting called for fools, but I'm gonna try and finish this out before I go. Pretty heavy advantage for green team right now. Hop in here, dude. How the heck is it going? Yeah, this was my third. I'm about to grab my fourth. <laughs> I wish I was 21. The bar's pretty hype. If I was on stream, I'd offer to buy you something. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> if there wasn't I mean, hey, no, we still. No, no, we, we have. Uh, we have the after party. Right. Which may or may not have drinking. <laughs> may or may not. Probably won't. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's no. a lot of family fun and. Yeah, all right. board games. You know, All there right. might be some board games. I should have brought Avalon. Oh my god. I think, uh, I think I Kevin it. has it. Oh, does he? I think so. Plus, I can't believe I forgot to bring Avalon. Alright. Anyway, that, that was game two. It's 1 1 now. Both games were on stadium, which okay. I thought was pretty interesting. Alright. They so counterpicked to the same stage as game one, and I don't think it was a salty run back. I think it was no. genuinely. Just you the know, best option? Their best option. Yeah, people always talk about if it's the best option, even if you lose, you should still take it. Right, no, I, I completely adhere to that mantra. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got TM7. 87? What is that number? TM87, I believe, is Swagger. Oh, wow. That is swag. Yeah, I think that's the reason behind that tag. And then Kira, is that a shout out? Uh, maybe. As, <laughs> as Rick is the one with the Kira tag. Okay. Uh, I think the rest of them are pretty self explanatory. Yeah. You know, I saw the Indiana Power Ranks on Reddit, and I saw some shout outs for Rick in the Reddit comments. So I was like, wow. Yo, yeah, Rick's pretty good. Rick's got a name, huh? Yeah, no, he's, he's had some really good placings in big tournaments. Yeah. Traditionally, Lance does better, uh, but Rick has a couple, you know, here and there performances where he just really went nuts. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, anyway, we see Fox doing Fox things. Yeah. Get some upgrades. Oh, Pikachu, unfortunate. Little uh, SD there going for the edge. Held yeah. down probably just a little bit too long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think the biggest thing about doubles over singles is the whole 
team composition, uh, not composition, like positioning against the other team. Right. Because when you start playing like team games as opposed to 1v1 games, like. Neutral you, is completely different. It's totally different. Punishes can be very different. Yeah. Like Marth on FD versus two Foxes. Yeah. Marth on FD versus Fox is pretty good. But Marth against uh, Fox on FD as uh, teams? It's probably worse for, for Marth. I think it's in Fox's favor. Yeah. Because, you know, Marth really, like, does well there because of his, his ability to really move around in neutral and because of his chain grab combos. Both of which are severely nerfed in teams. And the thing about FD that a lot of people don't talk about, or maybe realize, I don't know, is that Fox's neutral actually probably gets a little bit better on FD. Yeah, no, Fox has yeah. a great neutral on FD. It's, uh, honestly, Fox Marth is pretty even in neutral on FD. Uh -huh. uh, it's just that it's Marth just has punish, those, yeah. those crazy hard punishes. Great awareness from Voorhees right there. Yeah. The, that was really good team to FD. And you know, I haven't seen these two teams very much, but he was in the perfect spot for that. See, they were there again on that one. Yeah, but, he was ready for it. But I don't, like, Ooh, okay, that one right. I disagree with. I don't, I don't disagree with uh, Reed's choice to, you know. Oh, oh yeah, he's slightly in the space. Gets him with that. Side. Great awareness to give up the edge for his teammate there. Gets him off stage with no nothing. All right, we're getting the Pikachu gimps. Yeah, he's been doing that gimp a lot. That forward air to yeah, up air. Oh yeah. yeah. That's, it's pretty solid. Definitely get all. No matter how many times I see it. Yeah. Still no. love it. <laughs> all right. So this game. Three? So that was game three, that was game three, and that went to Reeve Voorhees. This is losers' time? Winners' time? Honestly, just got here. I don't know where we are in the, in the bracket. This is losers' finals. Okay. I should update the bracket, actually. Oh, oh I did. Sad. Never mind. This is our bracket. Okay. Oh, Amita Cobb. Yeah. Cobb's that Peach player, right? Yeah. Oh. I turned it up really high. <laughs> there you go. I don't know how any of this crap works. I'm just yeah, no. <laughs> talking and hoping you can hear me. Rather tells me just don't touch anything. Talk, but don't touch anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't have that in my power. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I see things that are touchable, I will touch them. Alright, Weep yeah, Tag. Right. Shoutouts to uh, Reeves combo video. Reeve it and Weep. Reeve it and Weep. I don't know. You think Rick and Hunt are weeping yet? What's that? You think Rick and Hunt are weeping yet? Well, they're down a game. This, uh, this is, <laughs> you know, this could be the last game of their tournament if they don't win this. And although Dreamland is bad for Marth against Fox, just. A lot because of the survivability aspect and because it's harder for him to cover platforms. And that was good. We realized that Vorhees could probably recover on his own, so um, he just stuck to the ledge. For everything it's good for Marth, it's or bad for Marth, it's good for Pikachu too. You know, yeah. Pikachu's gonna live a long time, especially oh, in yeah. teams. Oh yeah. And every character here has a lot of room room to move around, which isn't necessarily good or bad for any character in this matchup. Yeah. I mean every it, it, you know, it helps your opponent just as much as it helps you when you have extra space right. in any of these matchups. You know, if you look at any of these one on ones. Yeah, definitely. But in teams, it is a little different. So, I think in teams, you want to go to a bigger stage if you think as a team you have a better, like, team synergy neutral than they do. Okay. Have a little more room to work with. The smaller stage is going to be more chaotic. So, if you have. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. I was, I was talking about that earlier, I think chaotic is a good way to describe it, like, random is a bad way to describe it, it's agree, really not random, yeah. but it is chaotic, where it's, There's always going to be a method to the madness, if you know what you're doing. Different connotations, maybe slightly different definitions, Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> Alright, and Two that... Two foxes just covering the entire stage. That oh, should yeah. be, oh, great save from... P uh, Pikachu, but Fox is ready for that up there. I mean, he had plenty of time to react to it, so good of him to get it. Okay. Pikachu oh, that was a good combo. Yeah. Forward tilt was just a little bit too late. That yeah. was he had almost just enough time to keep that combo going on Fox and get the edge guard on the other one. Yeah, one thing I'm noticing is Voorhees is always ready when the Marth up throws. When Reed gets like an up throw, yeah. he's ready to follow up. Oh, he almost got the reverse tail spike there. He was just a little bit off on that spacing. Yeah, he always has good awareness. Fox back off stage. 
great wait from Rick uh, against hit that Marth. He saw that, you know, he hit him out of the... I'm sorry, hit him off the edge and uh, saw that he was set up pretty well to go for the other Fox, so we waited for him to do something and then punished him for it. That side beat is safe, Pikachu. <laughs> I think oh, so. Oh, that charge oh, on that off smash. Oh, okay, but all right. Fox unfortunately kills his teammate, yeah. but... We're up three Fox. stocks to one here. Fox hit his uh, wipe the screen button. In game four. It's, it's looking like we're going to go to a game five. But, hey, man. Yeah, I've, I've seen crazier things happen. Reeve might make him weep. Quick 57, 77% on Reeve from one combo. I believe. Do you believe? That's, if any Marth here can do it, it's going to be Reeve. Okay. Good answer. <laughs> that's a pretty non-committal answer. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, all right. All right that's, that's how it started. Right, and that's, uh, it. that's it. <laughs> all right, so we're going to game five. Takes it. We'll see who takes it. Who do you got? Who do you got to take this? Mm, I got the corgis. The corgis. I got the corgis. Ooh, I might have the uh, that Martin, that weird deformed yellow that thing. mammal. It's that thing. Mammal. I, yeah. I think some Pokemon are mammal. mammals. Uh, yeah. I don't if Pikachu think, I don't was a type think, of, of like a type of animal, he'd be a mammal. I don't think Pikachu lays eggs. Put it He's, that way. What's that? I don't think Pikachu lays eggs. You don't think he lays eggs, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So not a bird, not a reptile. Right. Probably not an amphibian. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't think he needs a heat lamp. <laughs> you don't think he needs a heat lamp. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, maybe a marsupial. Yeah, yeah. I can see him having a pouch. You just never know about it. Right. <laughs> Season whatever they're on of Pokemon yeah. finally gets revealed. <laughs> New Pokedex thing. Pikachu. Recently the discovered. Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. That would explain the kick, you know. The what? The up, the up oh, smash. The kick of the yeah, the kick. Feet. Yeah, kangaroo kick. <laughs> yeah, kangaroo. You know the, the stereotypical marsupial. Mm -hmm. Can you think of another one? Koalas. Can you think of one more? Because those are like the two uh, marsupials. What's well, the other one that's pretty much the exact same thing as a kangaroo? I don't uh, know. I really don't know. I have no what's idea. It's like a small kangaroo. I forget the name of it. Oh, uh, no, I don't know. Like a joey? Oh, no, that, isn't I, that I just a baby? That's, that's just a baby kangaroo. Yeah, I think that's, that's wrong. It's a... Uh, <laughs> well, um, so a w, w maybe? It starts with a W. w. Wallaby? Maybe? Well, okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Anyway, Smash Bros. Yeah, so what's this game? <laughs> uh, looking like your prediction is uh, off to a good start here, but yeah, you know, know. It's, just, it's just two hits. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wallaby, that's it. That's it. Wa yes. Let's go, Twitch chat. They got me. Yep. This is yeah. chat interaction. There's some others. Like, I, I think a platypus is technically a marsupial, mm. even though it lays eggs. Platypus. Platypus are weird, man. Platypi. Platypi. <laughs> uh, after this game, you want to go play your little Yeah, this is, uh... This is game five. Yeah, I'll, I'll head out after this set. Yeah, I've got some pools I need to catch up on. I think they're waiting on me. So I'm going to finish this set and then probably have Riley hop back on for grand finals. Okay. Okay, and we got a... Uh, hard, to de hard to deny that there's a one full stack advantage for green team. Yeah. Do you think the color that doesn't get played feels left out? What's that? Do you like think red? <laughs> Red's just sitting here like, yeah. come on guys. <laughs> like, dude. No one picks red. Everyone always picks I try to blue. I try to play red blue all the time because I'm Oh, uh, because you're a Halo I'm, fan? I'm peripherally uh blue green color blind oh, shit. and red green color blind. Okay. Wow. So like red blue has the most contrast in my peripheral vision. So you have to make that request all the time? So I always try to, but I'm not, I'm not like too sure. like, stubborn about it. Like, yeah. like okay guys. Like if they're blue, I'll try to play red, and if they're red, I'll try to play blue, but that's not worth johnning about. I can oh. put on a tag or something. And if they're all different characters, it definitely doesn't matter. Yeah. It's like, okay, I'm fighting the Mars and Fox, you know? Like, Those are some good ledge guards. All right. Still a really tight battle here. Is, if, uh, yeah. if they can kill the Marth, which, they're starting to ooh, take it back. Close. Really. That was crazy. Actually. If they can uh, kill Reeve without taking too much damage, which they did. Okay. You know, this is a very you off stage. close game right now. Back on stage. Uh, as, as long as this, yeah, as long as the uh, hunt doesn't get edge guarded there. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm a little. Oh, uh, it wasn't Ooh. ready for that. Yeah. But it's just, you know. An up smash away, or a back air away. Oh, it's like dead, dead even. Oh, Pikachu's right now. so scared right now. Okay, never mind. Pretty, all right. Martha
Darth off stage. Ooh. Oh, and the yeah. shine goes the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, and he just waits, doesn't do anything to get hit by that up smash. Just grab the ledge. Looking tough. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. Up smash. <laughs> Thunder. No, he just didn't want to die. He's been off stage. Oh, that That's should be it. it. Well, good stuff to Reeve and Voorhees. Yep. We'll see if they can get their revenge in uh, Grand Finals. Who's in Grand? Cobb, right? It's, uh, yeah, Amita and Cobb. Okay.